What is going on, YouTube? What's shaking, bacon? This is Dope, and I'm back again. This is Dope Comics on the YouTube channel. And how awesome is that new Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix? Just watch that. So much better than, uh, I think, than the Halloween series that just started over. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's an hour and a half long. Get on Netflix, check it out. The bus scene is incredible. And uh, other announcements is uh, I'm going to start doing two videos a week. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna release one on Wednesday evening. It's going to be called Weird Wednesday. And uh, then I'm probably going to do the other one on Saturday mornings. Uh, if you subscribe today, you'll know when I drop these and uh, you'll get some kind of notification. And if you don't subscribe, you just got to look for them. But check them out anyway. And uh, today I thought we would talk about uh, 1970s DC the forgotten horror comics. You know, if I went to a, a Comic-Con and asked 100 people, what is your favorite 70s DC books that's horror related, you're going to get a lot of House of Secrets, you're going to get a lot of House of Mystery, and you're going to get a lot of Witching Hour. But we're not going to be talking about them today. We're going to be talking about the, the forgotten horror from the 70s that DC came out with. And there's a bunch of it. So, I got a pretty good size haul I pulled, so... Let's get to it. The first one. Dark Mansion. The Forbidden Tales of Dark Mansion. You could ask a bunch of people about this book and hardly anybody would know anything about it. Uh, this is a Nick Cardi cover here. It's my favorite one I pulled from the series. Uh, Nick Cardi, he did a lot of these covers for DC in the 70s. It's an awesome book. So, there was 15 of these, and they were released from 71 to 74. So, check them out. Here is Ghost Comics, which is a little bit more popular. But still, I don't never hear anybody talk about Ghost Comics. Ghost Comics was 112 issues and was from 71 to 82. And this one's got Hell Beast in it. Hell Beast of Berkeley Square, and also Death Came at Dawn. And the cool part about these was, it says right here, it's got to be true. True stories of the weird and super unnatural. And if they print it on the cover, it's got to be true. So, there is a nice ghost. Here's another ghost cover I'll pull for you that I like. Ghost had some cool covers. This one's number 39. If you want to look for it on eBay, they're not high. Uh, probably about the same as shipping. Six dollars for shipping, six dollars for a book, something like that. This one's got the haunted hitchhiker in it, uh, the ghost of England, and blossoms of blood. How can you not want to read that? Cool cover. And then I don't know how this didn't make it. I mean, it's only four issues long, and I came out from 71 to 72, but uh, this is the sinister house of secret love. So, you know, let's combine horror with love stories. You know, that didn't really work out too well. Four issues is all we got of this. And these are really hard to find, especially in high grade. If you get any of these four in high grade, they're going to cost you on eBay. Then we got one of my favorite covers. This is Secrets of Sinister House. And somebody is getting wally whopped in back of a wagon. Beat to death with a shovel. We got a girl here watching in the shadows. Maybe that's a boy in a pink shirt. I don't know. But anyway, cool cover. And as you can see, this is Secrets of Sinister House. Number six. So don't be confused with Secrets of Haunted House. So this came out, this is a pretty good book. These came out in, these are from 75 to 82. And there was 86 of them released. Or 46 of these. 46 of Haunted House. So this is cool. Looks like we got a convict on the run. And we got some reaper coming with his horses. So. Pretty cool book. 46 of these from 75 to 82. If you wanted to collect them. Here's another cool cover. This is number 15 in the run. Secrets of Haunted House. We got some kind of mummy in the, or some kind of zombie in the mud. And we got some cops shooting at him. He's alive! 
Then we'll have to shoot him. Shoot him again, Earl. So there they are. They're shooting him. He's got three tails in here. Cool book. Number 15 of the run. And this is probably my one of my favorite covers in the run, Secret of Haunted House. This is number 18. Man, I got these all out of order. But anyway, this is number 18. This reminds me a lot. This this would have been a good pre-code horror cover. If it was a pre-code horror cover, it'd probably be worth a lot more. This woman is tied up, hands tied behind her back, legs tied up, she's bound, tied up and bound and thrown into a big flamey pit. This dude is like, get out of here, bitch. She's gone. So that one is pretty cool. There's only one way to drive the demons from you. We shall burn them from your soul. So that's pretty cool. Fiery pit of doom down here at the bottom says. And this is a 40 center, number 18. Cool book. Secrets of Haunted House. 46 of these. Here's another one. I really love this cover, so I'll pull it. It's number 23. Got this dead dude at the morgue. He loves his blondes. Some dude's trying to hold him back. He's got the little tag on his toe. So, cool cover. I posted this one a couple days ago on IG. When are the dead not dead? Return of the killer ghost. So there's a couple different stories in these. And one more, Secrets of Haunted House. This is a newer one. This is a 50 center, number 28. And I didn't buy this one for the cover. I bought this one because it reminds me of home. This guy, I mean, it's definitely a Southern thing here. This guy is drinking some moonshine. You can see the three X's on it. He's got his overalls on. It's called Demon Rum. We got the pretty blonde here. Her name's probably like Sally May or something like that. He's got his boots on. He's drinking the demon rum. This one I bought because I had to read. I don't like this big ugly blue header. If it was all done like in black or something, it would look better. But I like me some demon rum and I bought this one to read. And I read it. And it's also, if you look, here's a here's an old moon sign still. So, story's not that good if you read it. I was a little disappointed in the story. Then you got some real weird shit. Tales of the Unexpected. And Tales of the Unexpected is really old. Uh, there's 104 of these from... There's 104 in the first run. It was from 56 to 68. And then they renamed it The Unexpected. They left off the Tales of. And it's just called The Unexpected. And it ran through 222 issues. So there's 222 issues of Unexpected. But the title's different up here. The first... Uh, 104 say Tales of the Unexpected and the rest just say The Unexpected. But the first ones are 10 centers and they're pretty campy. They're not scary at all. But I still buy them when I see them because you don't see a lot of the 10 centers. So when I find them at my local shop, I buy them. Here's a 12 center. Still campy. But Tales of the Unexpected was a little bit more sci-fi, less horror. Here's probably one of my favorite tales of the unexpected. It's a robot cover. This alien is popping his head on this robot to make it look like a man. Pretty blonde. She don't wear a bra. Uh, pretty cool book. The demon sorcerer of Saturn's in this one. So for all you spec people looking for something to spec on, why don't anybody ever spec on the demon sorcerer of Saturn? I mean, DC, come on, you never know. James Gunn, put him in a damn movie. Look at this little fat pink dude back here. So, that is that. And then we've got Tales of the Unexpected 12 Center, number 93. we got like an alligator with a baby head and some cops back here. They're going to shoot the shit out of him. And, uh... I don't know. Prisoners of Hate Island. I was a living freak. 
My brain was expanding into a superman's, but my body was receding back to the primitive form. So, there you go with that. He's a, I don't know what's going on. It's probably wasn't too good of a read. A lot of them 10 and 12 cent issues are heavy dialogue and uh, really not worth reading. This is whenever Tales of the Unexpected become cool. It was just called The Unexpected. They got to be a little bit more horror. And you see this guy a lot, like in Phantom Stranger. You see this guy in two or three other books. So he, he, he jumps from series to series. I love the gun. I love everything about this one. The night I watch myself die, baby. So, cool book. This is a 12 center. This is 105. One of my favorite covers of the run. Good book. Here's another unexpected. 114. It's a 15 center. We got a dude. I hope they're looking in a well, but it almost looks like they're looking in like the dryer, the washer and dryer or something, but I don't know. I think they're looking in a well. And uh pretty cool cover. Yeah, the well of second chances. So that, that's better than looking inside your washing machine. So yeah. And I always loved the way Unexpected was wrote out on these covers. So, and if you can tell, on these older ones, the 15 center said the Unexpected. Next, they kind of changed it. This is a uh, number 124. And you see now the is over here. It's not over here no more. These are cool because I love all the old DC that had the bat up here. The swamp thing and some more of them had the bat up here in the corner. Uh, some of the House of Secrets and other things. And these had this on it too. So I love these things. Love the way these look. This is Gift of the Ghouls. It's like a birthday party. You got all these bad guys, all these ghouls everywhere. So be out on the lookout for that. And this one, next one coming up, definitely looks like pre-code horror. This is one of my favorite covers, 129 of the Unexpected. This looks like the same guy I showed you a minute ago. Uh, the Deadly Widow's Web. And as you can see, we got a dude hung in the web. It's a nice book, nice Nice book, nice cover, nice everything. Like that one a lot. Here's almost like some classic good girl art. This is uh, the unexpected 141. Got this beautiful girl combing her hair. Somebody's back there in the curtains, hiding behind the curtains. So, is it a killer? Is it a pervert? Is it the wind? We don't know. Could be anything. These books are unexpected. You don't know what's back there, brother. A madman loose among us. So I, may, I bet you it's a madman. I bet, bet it's a madman. Then we got uh, number 144 of the unexpected. Curse of the Black Cat. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Got a nice city scene. Giant black cat. So, I own a black cat also. His name's AJ. Alright, here we got uh, another unexpected. This one is number 146. Got some old lady that's been dead for a while in an old house. These kids were decided to break into and they found a dead body. I don't know if they should be charged with breaking and entering, but uh, marry me in my grave, it says. Pretty cool book. And a lot of these, a lot of these people love to put kids on the cover because I guess kids were the ones buying them. So you see a lot of these DC books and it's kids hiding behind trees, kids hiding in the graveyard, kids hiding in old mansions, all that kind of stuff. Here is Unexpected 149. 
I need a better copy of this. I probably found this at a show somewhere. I love this, co this, this cover. You got these zombie looking things breaking through the concrete. So you know they're strong. There's a regular dude in the brown suit again. He's walking around. So it's a cool book. That is Tales of the Unexpected, number 149. This one I found at a comic book store deep in Alabama. This thing is in really, really good shape. The colors pop. Love it. We got kids again. Bell bottoms on because it's the 70s. We got a ghost at the top of the steps. We got bloody feet print going up the steps. Colors on this one, I like the blue, oh, I like the purple mixed with the black. I like the lantern, the light coming off the lantern. Really well done. And this one is one of my favorite. I got this one on my birthday on a road trip. I think when I turned 43. Maybe 44. And this one's in really bad shape, but I bought this as a reader. This is a, a series that wasn't around long at all. This is Weird Mystery Tales. 24 issues from 72 to 75. This one's in really bad shape because every time you find one of these on eBay, they want $30 for it because it's about the Titanic. I didn't want to pay $35 for it. Uh, I wanted to pay $5. And the only thing I really wanted to do was find a complete copy that I could read. And I don't mind buying a, a comic book in bad shape as long as the condition matches the price. So, every once in a while, I'll buy a beater. That way, I can read it. I don't mind reading any of my books. But there's some comic books I just want to read the store. And this is one about the Titanic. It's supposed to be a true story. And there it is, talking about the Titanic. Anything with a Titanic on it, you usually got cross collectors. You got people collect just Titanic crap. So, this is probably, one, this is probably the highest book in the series. Uh... You can't get a nice copy of this, but I don't know why you would. I mean, you get, an, you get a 7.5 of this. You just better like the cover because it ain't never going to have any spec value. But it's a cool book. Mine definitely gotten wet before. You can see it's wrinkled up. But I did like this story. And I got my 4 or $5 worth out of it. Now, Weird Mystery, we're down to three books. Weird Mystery Tales has some of the best covers of any, I mean, just as good as House of Secrets, just as good as, you know, House of Mystery, Witching Tales, uh, any of that. So, uh, sorry, Witching Hour. Uh, Weird Mystery Tales, number six is one of my favorite covers. We got, got like a reaper out here, dogs hanging out with them. We got some kids. We've got, house back there get the big moon i saw this one and i had to have it i like the black header this is a 20 center uh really cool book so when you're digging it's your local comic shop go to the w's because there's all kinds of weird blah 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 weird war tales weird mystery uh all kinds of cool stuff you can find in the weird section so there's another tip for you I always go straight to the W's because there's so much stuff from war to weird to witching to everything in the W's is good. So here is Weird Mystery Tales number eight. This book is in real good shape. It's a girl coming down the steps. Here's a Grim Reaper. Here's some kind. Here's here's Dracula. Here's Frankie. Here's some other kind of skeleton with a sombrero on. So I don't know what's going on here. Here's a rat. She heard a noise in her basement. Here's some other kind of paw. She heard a noise in the basement. She had to go downstairs and flip the breaker or whatever. And these dudes were hanging out in their brand new house in their cul-de-sac. So time to head upstairs. Fuck the breaker, right? Good book. Good condition. Number eight. Weird Mystery Tales. And the last issue for today, Weird Mystery Tales number 11. 
probably my favorite cover of Weird Mystery Tales. I think I've already said that three times out of four books, but this is my, this is my favorite. This one. I know I say it every book, but this one. Weird Mystery Tales number 11. We've got Ernie down here in June out on a date. They drive by some graveyard or something. This guy's needing a ride. He's got his thumb out hitchhiking. They're horrified. Beautiful ghost. Beautiful, beautiful book. There's 24 of these, and they came out from 1972 to 1975. So if you want to collect all these, which I do, you, you got a three-year window there, 24 issues. I pick up everyone I see, especially if they're in good shape. I buy them for in bad shape, as long as the price matches the grade. So that is all for our haul today. Um, like I said, if you like what you see, subscribe down below. I'm going to post this on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to start doing Weird Wednesday. This is going to be the first Weird Wednesday. And then I'm going to start doing a Saturday morning one, two times a week. Uh, now that i got some content built up on my channel. i got some big things coming. I'm trying to get better and better at this. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to Biggie. Uh, Biggie Shack. Uh, he's got a channel called New World Comics. Uh, I was on his show Friday night. Uh, me and a couple other guys. If you want to tune it, check that out. Tune into that. Uh, subscribe to his channel. It's uh, New World Comics. He's always doing like collector's corners and all kinds of other things. Uh, check him out. Been on his show twice now. Uh, it's about two hours long of us just talking and showing big books. So if you want to see uh, big books, I showed some big books on that. Not just stuff like this, but I showed some big books. So a lot of pre-code horror. So check that out. Uh, give Biggie a follow. And uh, until next time. Pew, pew.